Things are moving along quickly for implementing medical marijuana laws in Missouri, but there are some things you should keep in mind if you plan on applying for a medical marijuana card. While medical marijuana will be legal in Missouri, it is still illegal federally, which will have an impact on gun owners. Color 10's Jesse Inman is live tonight after speaking with a firearms dealer in Springfield. Jesse, what did you learn today? Well, David, Heather, they told me today here at Eagle Armory on National that they haven't had too many inquiries yet, but they know in the near future they're going to have to tell those medical marijuana patients that they can't sell them a firearm. You know, I could see how some people would get frustrated by it, but, you know, we have to do our part. Their part at Eagle Armory is to abide by the federal law. Chan Hocklander says as a licensed dealer by the federal firearms license, that's the word they go by. At the end of the day, since we're licensed by the federal government, those are the laws we abide by. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to say it doesn't matter what the state says, but at the end of the day, the federal law is going to trump state law for a business like ours. In fact, state law doesn't say much yet at all when it comes to medical marijuana and firearms ownership. The Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services are, are still sort of crafting uh, the rules and regulations when it comes to medicinal marijuana in Missouri. Criminal defense lawyer Adam Woody says the ATF, or the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, has been fairly lenient when it comes to states passing laws to legalize cannabis. But when it comes to gun ownership, in conjunction with medicinal marijuana, uh, that's sort of where the ATF has decided to kind of put its foot down. Uh, they are regulating that very closely. And in fact, the ATF has completely outlawed sales of guns to people who uh, have medicinal marijuana permits or, or prescriptions. If a medical marijuana patient tries to buy a gun, they won't get very far. And that is one of the things that actually background checks uh, for uh, purchasing firearms looks at. If you're on the list of having a medical marijuana card, you cannot purchase a new firearm. At Eagle Armory, they know in the coming months those situations are bound to happen. Eagle Armory. But they're still working on how to deal with customers who have that conflict. We'll talk about it more as we get more info. But, you know, for now, it's, you know, we're just playing it by ear and seeing where things go. Now, what he told me today that he expects state regulations to stay silent on this type of thing, which would leave in gun ownership laws in general with medical marijuana. He told me that this would leave it completely in the hands of the federal government. And he says that while we wait on these final regulations to come down from the state, he says that this really only applies to those wanting to purchase a new firearm. So if you currently own a firearm and you eventually plan on applying for a medical marijuana card, there is no current state law that would prevent you from doing so. In Springfield, Jesse Inman, Ozarks First. Jesse, our thanks to you. New information.